If you want to know the situation in Japan, it's only going to get worse. Radiation contamination and exposure is an accumulative type of thing. And the radiation coming from the plant is not stopping. In fact, it's getting, no, it's, no, it's getting worse. Um, in, in a certain way, we could say, if you don't care about the Pacific Ocean, that we're lucky because most of the radiation presently and from the beginning, not in the early days, but most of it is being dumped into the ocean. Now that radiation is about to hit or is already hitting the west coast, Canada, Alaska. So wherever you are, and if you're just to the northeast of Tokyo, uh, and I would say the same thing if you were living anywhere in the northern hemisphere, you're very lucky you're young and still healthy, but the need for constant detox is only getting is only increasing and getting more important. Because the radiation exposure, we were not designed for increased radiation exposure. And it's not the only danger we have. You know, you know we've polluted this planet with all kinds of chemicals, you know, in the food, the herbicides, the pesticides, the fungicides, the antibiotics in the, in the environment. Uh, I mean, the list goes on, the mercury in the air, forget about in the teeth. So we have many reasons to be proactive with our health. But you have, you have a slightly elevated reason. The no, I mean, the, yes. the heavy, medical, heavy metal particles certainly have reached Tokyo, and there are plenty of hot spots in Tokyo. It only takes an ingestion of one nuclear particle into the interior of the body to really start creating havoc. Well, I have a full medical pro protocol for this. Um, it starts with magnesium. Saturating your body with magnesium, uh, getting your uh, controlling the body's acidity or alkalinity with sodium. You know, besides like the magnesium and sodium bicarbonate to bring uh, to, to alkalize your body, um, eating uh, clay for the rest of your life, starting the morning with a glass of clay is going to be one of your best, most least expensive, most natural, and best bet to make sure that any radiation or particles or anything that's coming in with the food will go through your body. Clay for detoxification or for a chelation, dealing with heavy metals, which of course nuclear particles are heavy metals, the, I wrote an essay about those uh, seven years ago called The Science of the Pure. And clay and also the magnesium are two of the most pure substances you can still obtain on the planet. The magnesium oil that I recommend is 250 million years old. comes from a seabed 1,500 meters below Europe. Clay, which is also mined from below the earth, it's like a sponge. It's so pure that its power is in attracting impurities to it. Just like a sponge attracts water and will fill itself up. Clay is a way of, of ingesting a substance that moves through the whole digestive tract, cleaning, healing, and calling to itself impurities. So it's something you can fit into your daily routine forever. But even before Fukushima, you know, we have really outdid ourselves in polluting the planet, the water, the air, our foods. Um, so using something pure as a counterbalance makes perfect sense. Before Fukushima, same situation. The need for iodine let's say conservatively would be 25 milligrams a day 
and in your situation you probably could go up to 50 milligrams a day for three to six months and then drop back to 25 milligrams a day. So depending on what form of iodine you're taking, uh, if it depends on the Lugols and, and its percentage or if you're taking the Nascent, you really need to be taking, taking a lot. The same with selenium. And I don't know if you've seen on my protocol this liquid selenium. Each drop is one milligram. That's five times more per drop than the, 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 the biggest tablet of selenium that is on the market is 200 micrograms. You usually buy it in 55 microgram or this 200 microgram. I recommend for cancer patients 20 drops or 20 milligrams a day. 200 micrograms, let's go back to the minimum, 200 micrograms according to golden standard science, will reduce your chance of dying by cancer by 50%. Using higher dosages, which I recommend, this, the liquid iodine I suggest is a liposomal uh, selenium. Um, medical marijuana is also very strong in terms of anti-inflammatory and anti-radiation exposure. Whether it be taking it naturally, you know, juicing it, using it raw, or oil, or see, there's many, many ways of using it now. Um, so I, in the, my protocol, there's actually quite a few things. But the strongest would be the oxygen, would be the magnesium, sodium bicarbonate at the right quantities, the selenium, and the iodine. And staying focused. Now, most of that, you know, those minerals are liquid, so it's they're pretty easy to take reasonable, you know, high levels of that. You know, sticking with those and the clay. Also, I would very much recommend putting it on top of your list is sulfur. MSM or what I call organic sulfur, very inexpensive. Sulfur is, and the selenium together, they're very important with glutathione production, which is the master enzyme for getting rid of heavy metals and other toxic chemicals in the cells. Uh, sulfur, you know, eggs are high in sulfur, garlic is you know, high in sulfur. So taking sulfur and putting it in your smoothies uh, is very important.